Hello, everyone. We are back. It is the Co Show. It is the third episode. It has been a long, long hiatus. Uh, work, job, number one, school always comes first to the listeners out there. And for the third straight time, we are joined by Andrew Serlin. What is up, my man? How are you doing? Uh, I'm great. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing well. I just finished finished writing a paper for a final a final paper for a class. Feeling good. Was playing Fortnite earlier. Ended ended pretty high. Didn't have not gotten my first win yet, but you know we're going. We're going. Did, some, did one of your teammates kill you or no? My teammates did not kill me. And so I guess this is where we're going to start today. It was on my topics list. Uh, I don't know how many listeners know about this game, but it is a great game. It is on Xbox and PlayStation. It is called Fortnite. Andrew, do you want to explain it a little bit more? It's like if the Hunger Games was just 100 people jumping off a bus flying through the air. Um, and then it's like a video game. Yes, <laughs> that's 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 right. It is like a video game. Uh, As opposed to a movie or a book. <laughs> <laughs> or a TV show, but yeah. Um yeah, it's it's pretty it's Hunger Games. You get you get uh weapons, you get resources, you build, you kill. It's a good game. It's I so when I'm trying to explain it to people, you know how like it's it's a lot it's the graphics aren't like any other game. Like, how would you describe the graphics of the game? Cartoonish. Cartoonish, yeah. It's, it's, de- it's definitely different, but it's like it's co- it's a good cartoonish. It's not bad. Yeah, it's like the graphics are like smooth. Like it looks pretty. It's just like, like a, a cartoon. Like that's just what it looks like. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, pretty much. And so. I mean, I've uh, you've been playing it a little bit longer than me. I've yet to get my first win, and I have, I have a win. Huh? I have one win. You have one win, and so like uh like Andrew said before, when I play with uh him and other friends, uh they sometimes just they they turn around and kill me because you can play in teams of four, and sometimes they're just sick of me and they kill me, and I get really mad and I yell and I quit, and so Andrew, I'm putting you on the spot. Why do you kill me all the time? On the internet, I'm pretty sure it's called trolling. That's not a good troll. Your teammates help you win, so that. And, and yet, it makes me and the other teammates who I don't kill laugh every time. So it's good, you know. Mm, I don't know about that. I w- I wouldn't say it's good, but we <laughs> we'll agree to disagree. Now. We can definitely agree to disagree. Okay, so let's. What 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 do we want to talk about next? I I have something I want to talk about next. Yeah, you take the lead. All right. So I had I came into this show. We have been pretty unstructured the first two episodes. I don't want to become a real structured show because I I like open conversation. Let it flow, let it ride, whatever you want. Um, but I did have one segment, and it is a term that uh that I say a lot, and I wanted to get it out into the uh, universe. And so this segment is going to be called Boofs and Goofs, and it can be about anything we want. It's pretty much just like a show of incompetence over sports, media, entertainment, anything we want over like the past week or whatever. So would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? I can go first because uh, it actually ties into something you also wanted to talk about, so it's perfect. Um is it a boof or like which one do I pick? Boo- uh, it doesn't matter. Pick whichever one you want. Uh, the first goof is uh what Thanos looks like in the Infinity War trailer. <laughs> okay, go on. Like, I cannot possibly describe it to you. He his chin looks like a radiator on a car, or like an air conditioner vent. Okay, um, I'm. I mean, I don't know. I liked how he looked. He looked like a huge, powerful villain. 
He looks like if the big show had a square head and his chin was actually just lines carved into his face instead of a beard. I, I guess. I don't know. I kind of li- I kind of liked it. Who's voicing him? Josh Brolin. Oh, okay. I don't really know who that is, but okay. Okay. <laughs> So th- that's you. That's the big. That's the big goof. I'm. I don't know. For, for okay. Well, let's let's talk about the. Tra- let's talk about the other parts of the trailer real quick. Like, what did uh, okay. did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. That was like the only thing that I didn't like about it, pretty much. I re- I mean, what everybody did like, and I also really liked, was uh, Spidey senses were dope. Spidey senses, his new suit. Yeah, the new suit is pretty cool. Um. I also I was I was talking to you about this through phone call, but a lot of people are like freaking out about uh Cap having a beard. And they're like, This is so cool, like badass Cap has a beard and I'm just sitting here like I'm very indifferent to it. I d it doesn't really matter that he has a beard. I I felt like did did he not have a beard in Winter Soldier? I don't think so. I, I swear like he already has had a beard, but I guess not. Um I don't know. I don't. Who cares? Yeah, I know. Exa- like, like, why does it make? I'm mean, like, who? If people, I haven't really heard anybody say it's been. It's like, why does he have a beard? It's just like the beard is so cool. Like, it's it's a beard. <laughs> a lot of people have it. It's yeah, like fine. I don't really feel strongly about it. You know. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't make him look any cooler. It's just. I don't know. I, I th- I'm very indifferent towards it. I don't really care. People that are freaking out about a beard don't. It's stupid. I thought, I thought like the armor was definitely what was noteworthy about Cap, like not wearing the yeah the American suit. He's wearing like the Black Panther kind of armor. Yeah. Well, he's fighting. He's fighting right alongside him, and so right. that's like this. This movie, Infinity War, is definitely the most excited I've been for a superhero movie ever just i mean it's also because like i just got into superhero movies like a couple summers ago but like it's it's literally every single person in the marvel universe and the the trailer didn't even show you ant-man which i mean i'm a big fan of paul rudd and ant-man i really like the movie um who else didn't they show i don't really know who (laughs) that was the one that stood out i don't know um i didn't like like you know I, i wasn't really watching for that really I mean, I, I just wanted I wanted to see who they were gonna put in the trailer. I mean, uh, I mean, I I'm so in on Thor talking to Guardians of the Galaxy. Like that's a yeah, duo. that's obviously gonna be great. That's a that's that's a duo for the age or duo whatever you want it. The Thor and them is great. Yeah. I love that. It's just and so I mean I'm just I'm so excited. Like there's gonna be two right. Like that's already known. Yeah, I was surprised that they showed Hulk, and more surprised that they showed Banner, because I thought that after Thor, there was no more Banner. There was going to be no more? Uh, why? Why did you think that? Because in Hulk, Hulk says, like, if I become the Hulk one more time, I might never come back. And then they never oh. show him turn back into Banner if I, until the end of the movie. But okay, I guess that's, yeah, that's... that's not, you know, it's not been... <laughs> that's, that's a good point. You make a good point there. He said that, right? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, he did. Um, I was, I was, I didn't know this was a thing. You probably do since you you follow Marvel a lot more and have read more. But like, I didn't know the Hulk can be in a Iron Man suit, and I was so happy that's to. Not, see. That's not what that is. That's not. Are you kidding me? That's. Mm, I think you're wrong. Iron Man wears that in uh one of the other. Mm, I think you're wrong. I think that's Hulk. Called the Hulk Buster armor. Yeah. So is the Hulk not in it? No, it's it's specifically designed to fight the Hulk. Oh. Okay. Well, never mind then. Okay. Backtrack. Yeah. Whatever. All right. I'm gonna go my boof of the week. This is sports related, but it's not basketball related. Okay. I'm intrigued. My, I mean, it was the biggest story. I didn't really think. I only thought of the segments' names. I didn't really think about what I was gonna say during the segments. But I, this was a pretty big story, and I think the the boof of the week was what the Giants did with Eli, yes. because I just I don't see like the upside. I don't see any upside to doing it, and I th- it was just like stupid. They're already doing bad, so let's say like. 
Geno Smith, like nobody expects Geno Smith to do good. So like the what they expect is just to be to be bad still, which you could have done with Eli and not made fans pissed. Or Geno does good and you get you don't get a really good pick. So I don't really see the upside to this at all. This did they not watch what happened with Nathan Peterman? That's what I don't understand. Why well, that's different. Peterman's a P- Peterman's a rookie, and that's why I don't think they're starting uh, Davis Webb or whatever his name is. You know, they're not. They're starting Geno. No, I know. That's why I think they're they're not starting him because of what happened well, with Peterman. I mean, yeah, but but what? Like, I don't understand what the point of either of these teams doing this is. It's not like they were winning games with Eli. Or- like, well, stop bringing the Bills into this because the Bills are playing for a playoff spot. All right. Like, I don't understand what the Giants have to lose or gain. Yeah, no, no, no. That's no, no. That's what. No, they only have the the only thing they have to lose is like the fans being pissed, and that's exactly what they did. Right. So there's just no motivations that I can possibly think of. Ex- exactly. I had I have zero idea why they would do it. Um, apparently they went to Eli and asked, do you want to start? Which is like, that's just worse than just naming Gino the starter. Yeah, he said like, no, I don't want to start just to start and then get pulled out. Like, that tarnishes the streak. Like, just end it. Like, I don't want to, I don't want Yeah, that. like, that's, I mean, I, obviously, I, like, Eli is a unique quarterback. Like, he's he hasn't been, he hasn't been consistently good at all. He just, he has runs, but like, when you win two Super Bowls with a quarterback, you got to give him, you got to give him credit. You and, gotta let him go out gracefully at worst. Yeah, There's like just no just ride this season out with him. Do be really bad and then do whatever with him. It's like week fourteen. It's so weird. Yeah, it's. I yeah I I thought they should have let the season end, traded him to Denver, and Denver has its next Manning. You know, makes sense. Yep. <laughs> I, I think Jacksonville should still get him reunite with Tom Coughlin. N- I believe in Bortles. Eh, I believe he can throw lots of interceptions. Bro, he hasn't been that bad. He hasn't been terrible. He's just not that good is the more like important thing. Okay, yeah, but he's he was good enough to get them to seven and three or what seven and four right now or whatever. Seven and four I think they are right now, so I mean Nathan, Nathan Peterman could have gotten them to seven and four. False. That is false. You are spewing falsehoods, and I will not take that over my podcast waves. Never. I stand by it. Okay, you can. The rest, the rest of their team is good enough. They could just run the ball with Fournette every play. Okay, that, that's uh, that's your opinion. I don't think they could do that every play. Okay, so that's boofs and goofs. Do you have any more? I only had one. I didn't really plan. No, I, I didn't know that was a segment until we got on air. So, facts, good. All right, sweet. So, an an another subject that we talked about a couple weeks ago, and then I was like, let's save this. I want to talk about. I want to talk this out with you. I don't want to text this with you. I don't want to. I don't want to electronically send you codes that we're gonna argue over text. I want to talk. I want you to hear the tone of my voice when I speak this. And I want to I want to argue it out with you because we were talking about. So first thing I brought up was Darth Vader is Frankenstein. Star Wars ripped off ripped off Frankenstein. Use Darth Vader. Same concept. Whatever. Don't really want to talk about that. But Serlin, since you're a huge Star Wars guy, you can talk about that for a sec. But that's not where we're going. I mean, Luke is also Beowulf, so it's it's not like that like surprising like. Star Wars uses a lot of literature themes in it. Okay, well that's just that's just laziness on the writer's part. Uh, <laughs> call it homage if you're fancy. Okay, okay, but so then you you Me. you te- you went you went Frankenstein's a a bad book anyway, terrible literature, and yep. that that hit me that hit me right in the heart because let me tell you this last year. I'm in AP literature at Groves High School, right? I am. I have not done any work the entire year. It's senior year, whatever. Math is like my only hard class. Didn't didn't do great in that, but you know, whatever. We'll live with it. Um, and 
so I was in lit and I think it was second trimester and I'm like, I'm so bored with school. We get assigned to read Frankenstein. I'm like, I'm going to read this book because I'm so bored. So I, re- I read Frankenstein. It's one of the, it's one of the only books I ever read. Like that was assigned in high school. That, well, that's where, okay. <laughs> wait. This, this whole thing makes a lot of sense. No, 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 no. Wait, go on. I read other books. It's just one of the books that like was assigned that I read. I didn't. It wasn't wasn't the only book I read in high school. It was the one of the only books that like the okay. class okay, assigned. Go on, whatever, go on. So I read it right, and I'm like, this is probably gonna be bad. It was written in like 1850 or 18, something. 1818. 1818. Oh my god! Even way before than I thought. And I'm reading it, and it starts off. It starts off kind of slow. It starts off with like some letters from a traveler or something. Then we get, then we get into like the the beginning, the meat, and then the meat of it. And one boom, Frankenstein, not the monster's name, blew my mind. <laughs> Ble- absolutely blew my mind. Oh my god! Did did not know th- that it was the doctor's name. So one yes. boom, I am intrigued. I am interested. I want to read more. And so okay. I keep reading. It's a good story. He's it's the the creature gets gets alive and it's uh and he's just like ugly. He wants to have a love interest and just at the end of the book, it's just it's a great story. It's a great story about creation, life, love, romance, uh, just uh kind of torture like self torture, self hatred. It was it was so good. It was so good and I don't get how you can. You can go on and talk badly about this book that was written in 1818 by Mary Shelley and tell me that's a it's bad literature. It is great literature. It is a classic love story. Just it's just amazing. It was Jesus. awesome. All right, <laughs> classic love story. Okay, listen, it's like a hundred pages longer than it should be. First of all, it's so there's so much unnecessary like bullshit that comes out of the monster's mouth like <laughs> it's unreal how like the monster is so faux intellectual like he's just like what do you mean he's like the, he's one of the he's so smart frankenstein's like so oh smart my god come on bro you're a monster i'm a monster i'm not a monster like it's it's ridiculous I mean, you get you get great stories like the monster went on the rampage. It killed a guy. He's like, I didn't mean to, or whatever. And it's just he's hiding out in the Arctic at the end. I mean, it was I don't really remember it that well, just because you can see I'm like kind of kind of bullshitting what I'm saying. I only know a few facts about it, but like I know when I read it, I really liked it, and I thought I wasn't gonna like it. And I did not like it when I read it. and so that brings us to the second. The second piece of classic literature, they say, which we both agree is a piece uh, of yeah. garbage. Catcher in the, the Rye. Most overrated book of all time. Catcher in the Rye. Okay, I do you do you want to rant or do you want me to rant? Because we can you do can either. Go first. You can all go right. First. Catcher in the Rye. This this fake this fake book is about an emo kid who doesn't have any friends that just leaves home and tries to tries to have a coming of age story that is so bad it doesn't explain anything he sucks he's the worst character is it he's like he's he's like a bad kid too it's just it, it's so bad he's like horny he's mischievous mischief mischievous right <laughs> like a, i i just hate it. it the book is about like a kid who forces his own coming like you're, like it's exactly what you said. He forces his own coming of age story. Like he like. Oh my God! His name is his name is Holden too, so isn't he? Isn't it? What? His name's Holden. Yeah. Holden. Oh my God. Okay. First off, let's talk about that name, Holden. What a terrible name. That is the that is the most. I'm from the East Coast. I have I have brown blonde hair that's like kind of long, but not really that long. That like goes across my forehead. I'm, um, I I like wear sweaters and cardigans. Oh my god, that that might that might be the worst name ever. Yeah, I'm with you. But like Holden, Holden is very annoying. He's not a likable protagonist at all in the slightest. 
it's it's just not it's not good. It's not good at all. And I also I also remember we we like I like I like when when the, the when the title of a book has a deeper meaning or something. And I remember we we're talking about it in class whenever we read it, like sophomore year, and we we're like getting we we're talking about that and it's something near the end of like when it, the catcher in the rye phrase comes up and it didn't make any sense. It didn't really, I don't think it had anything to do with anything. It was just, it's like a, it was like a phrase or something. I don't really know. Yeah. It's, it was so bad. It, I hated it. It was stupid. It was like you said, a forced coming of age. The character is not likable. I need a likable character in a story who makes a story and makes you hate the character. It's not a smart decision. Like the main character cannot just be like, the most annoying, depressing person to listen to talk. Yeah, like, I, I get that hate is, like, I'm obviously talking about it right now. I hate it, and it makes me talk very passionately and whatever. But, like, when you're reading, you don't want to, like, hate read. Nobody hate reads. That's not a thing. Maybe J.D. Salinger was the first troll. I mean, maybe. It was it was, it was was so bad. It, I, I just, ugh, it makes me mad. It makes me mad. That book, I just was not was not a good book. It's not a good book. I agree. I was thinking, I'm trying to think of other books I read, like that I just didn't like. I don't even. Cold Mountain. I read Cold Mountain and AP Lit. Terrible. I did. I did not read that. I can tell you that. What? They made a movie. The the To Kill a Mockingbird's pretty good. Great book. It's a good book. All time book. It's a that's uh, the, the follow up. Terrible. I didn't know there was a follow up. Uh, Harper Lee like wrote half of it and then they published like oh recently. yeah I, I heard about that but yeah no 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 I think I think uh I think To Kill a Mockingbird it get like gets the recognition it deserves it's a it's a good oh. book it's because it just it's like uh, it it's timeless it's gonna be timeless yeah it's a great book because like you know people are always racist <laughs> you know oh. <laughs> it's one thing one thing that w- probably sadly won't ever leave society. We read that I mentioned earlier was Beowulf. Yeah, go. I don't really know Beowulf. You didn't read Beowulf? I did not read Beowulf. Oh, uh, it's like it's pretty good. Um, it's about a guy who's really strong, and then he fights a couple monsters, uh, becomes king, and then ends up dying when he fights a monster. It's a little too big for him. Okay. But there's a lot of like themes and uh, moral things, but mostly it like it. The format of the story has just been copied by like eighty percent of all fantasy stories ever. Hmm, that is interesting. I. But it kind of sucks because it's like the first one, so it's also like the worst one. Uh, okay, yeah, makes sense. See, that's so why like, that's why I like Frankenstein a lot because it's like the first one, and I th- I thought it was really good. I thought it was. I feel like I feel like there are way better things that took stuff from Frankenstein. Uh, you want to give me examples? Star Wars. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's not that's not true. Are you saying that Star Wars isn't better than Frankenstein? No, I'm <laughs> I'm saying I said one aspect of Star Wars was taken from Frankenstein, and they oh, okay. and they pretty much copied it. I mean, look, I was and I watched the scene too. Like, look at the scene when. Who is it? Sidious put like takes takes uh Anakin back and like puts puts him in the suit or whatever. Is what? Yeah, was that Revenge of Sith? Yeah, Revenge of the Sith. And like okay. it's it look like any modern adaption of Frankenstein or since like whatever you like it he comes up from it and he like starts breathing like the. <sighs> yeah, and it's I, just I like. Understand. It, it just like I, that like that's Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein, but his name is Darth Vader. So, I mean, that's that's, that's uh, yeah, yeah. So that's a good point. It is but like it is a good point. It's better. Yeah, uh, we we can agree to disagree yet again. All right, if you insist. Yeah. So one more. No, not even one more. I don't know why I said that, but just another topic <laughs> <laughs> that I had written down was just let's talk. Let's talk about the Grammy nominations. You said you hadn't read them. You said to look them up, but 
So right now I have in front of me the uh, the nominations for 2018. As do I. And I wanted to uh, let's first go over album of the year. I want to say. Okay. And so, yeah. so it's "Awaken My Love" by Childish Gambino, uh, no, four, sure, 44 sure. by Jay Z, "Damn" Terrible. by Kendrick Lamar. Great album. Melodrama by Lord. Didn't listen to any of it. Twenty Four K Magic by Bruno Mars. So this is a two horse race in my eyes. Okay, so you okay, S- and you do you think it's do you think it's it's I mean damn I know you have on I don't know I think you have damn in four forty four but you also might have awakened my love. You don't know me at all. It's obviously damn in twenty four. Oh my god! No no way! I love twenty four K magic. Bruno Mars. Is Bruno Mars is amazing. Back. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars is gonna take over this universe, man. I I could not be a bigger Bruno Mars fan, honestly. Oh my God, I am I'm I am playing. That's what I like right now. I'm inserting it into this podcast. I don't know if you'll you'll be able to hear it, but I know I will. I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but I don't know. I want to play this song. It's a bop. Hey. I got a condo in Manhattan, baby girl. What's happening? So for anybody living under a rock, that's that that was that's what I like by Bruno Mars. Did you were you able to hear that or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. great. I d- I don't even know how somebody can listen to that song and not at least sway a little bit, get some arm action, hand action, finger action. Like it's it's crazy. All right, I have I have a take real quick. Go ahead. What, what's what's the difference between record of the year and song of the year? <laughs> I think, uh, please go on. I, I want to say record was like a single, like, I know that like, that like, like, I think I, I, I I honestly don't know, but I think like record was made to be a single or something and song just kind of blew up a little bit. All right, I, I got the Grammy.com fact section open. I just, I was thinking, uh, I don't know, yeah. Let, uh, Here, I got it. The record of the year category recognizes the artist's performance as well as the overall contributions of the producers, recording engineers, and or mixers other, if other than the artist. The song of the year category recognizes the songwriters. Okay, and, so record uh, of the year is more important to me. That was a lot of words to say that they're the same thing in my mind. No, no, no. They're not the same thing. Like, what makes... It's the pr- it's the, the two, production. Look at, look, but look at what's nominated for each. No, no, no. I, I see that. But, lo- so, yeah, exactly. Like, Re- Redbone... Redbone is... In- like, the production on that is insane. And the production on the the Suicide Hotline song isn't insane. But, like, what they're saying is a... Re- is a re- that's... It's really good. So... Like I, I get, I get the difference between some of them. Like I think f- four forty four, the song is like a, it's good all around. But I, uh, Jay Z's ha- has the story of OJ, which is like all around a probably a a better song. So I don't know. I guess. But so back to album of the year. I did not know it'd be twenty four K Magic. I think. I mean. I I think it's a I think it's a four it's a four album race. I did not listen to Lord's album though. 
And I, uh, my friends that listened to it let, were thought it was really good. So I, I'm not going to say it's bad because I haven't listened to it. I can't have that take. So, I mean, for all we know, it's really good. And we're missing out. I'll probably have to listen to it. But, I mean, I... I think it might go to four four forty four because like of Jay Z just because like you know Jay Z. I hope it goes to Bruno. This is this is like these are these are good nominations, you know. No, I I think it's it's Kendrick. And it should be Kendrick though. If I'm being serious about it. It might. I mean, I, you could say that about Childish Gambino too. Like he, it's, it was a totally different thing than what he than what he previously released. Like he was just a straight rapper pretty much hip hop artist and then he went to R and B soul and it was really good. The production on it was crazy. So I mean I just felt like, like damn got like damn was just like I mean it was just like it was the album of the year. Like everybody was talking about it more than any of these other ones. Like the most I saw from four forty four was that like, it was terrible. Mm that's did you listen? No, I didn't listen. I just all, oh. all the stuff that I saw written about it. No, I mean, not terrible. That is, you know, no, pe- stuff, listen, people are stupid. The stuff that I saw about Damn was only positive. I didn't see a negative thing written about Damn. I mean, yeah, but Kendrick gets his dick sucked, you know, like. Because uh, he's the best. I know. I know he is. And I think, I mean, there was, like, I think Damn is a top three hip hop album of the year. But, and I just, I, I don't know. I, these are These are all really good. I... I would probably want Kendrick to win it because mm, I don't know. Let me see. I mean, I think my my uh, like for song of the year, al- album of the year, and record of the year, I would want. That's what I like to win song of the year for the reasons I just said. Except it's gonna be Despacito because everybody loves that for some reason. That's a good song. It's I feel like uh, that or the Suicide Hotline one should win. Okay. I guess. No, I, like, that's what I like. And Or the Suicide Hotline one, not Despacito. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I want that's what I like. Um, I think Humble should win Record of the Year. Probably, yeah. That, yeah. Humble, Humble probably will. See, I think Humble will win Record of the Year, but he's not going to win Album of the Year. I can see that. I think I think that I think that's going to happen. Um All right, best new artist. Best new artist. So this this is this is this is good because there's a lot of variety here, you know? Yeah. Um I, I don't I really like Alessia Carr, honestly. I don't know Julia Michaels, so I don't know who that is. So Again, there's another one that I that I'm not I don't have any knowledge on, so I can't really speak to that. Alessia Carr, I do like Khalid, I do like Lil Uzi, I do like at points. Don't really like him overall. I gotta go with SZA though. That's I mean I went to her concert the day before I moved up to Ann Arbor. It was one of the best. It was the second best concert I've ever been to. It like she is she's amazing. I'm a big like chill music R and B kind of guy. It's I mean she I love her and eh, I love her so much. That's fair. I really like Alessia Cara's music though. So I would say that the her first song that came out. Um, what was that first song? Here. Here, yeah, I really like that song. I Re- like that one. She sang the uh the the solo release of How Far I'll Go from Milana. I I have heard that. That was a good one. That was a good one. A great one. Um, wild things. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a little snippet of Alessia Cara, Lil Uzi, and SZA. Sorry, Khalid and Julia Michaels. <laughs> <laughs>
so that was that was Alessia Cara. She's I I really like the piano in that song. Yeah, I'm a big piano guy. The piano the piano really uh really makes makes that good. I like piano and I always love a good like horns. Like some horns in a song always make it nice. All right, so now we'll go to we'll go to Lil Uzi now. I'm gonna go yeah. with this with this song off his new album, Love Is Rage Two: The Way Life Goes. Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi, lo- I, I, that's a great song. Yep, I agree. I mean, he's he's I he's interesting because he, I I feel like everybody like likes him in hip hop. I don't re- I don't really think anybody hates him. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of him, but I definitely don't hate him. I like him. I don't feel like Joe Budden likes him. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I who does he like? I mean, he that's the co- that's the question. And it's like I just I think he's a very likable guy. He's different, obviously. He's just um, very happy all the time. Yeah, he's so happy. He's like a young kid. So now we'll go SZA. I'm gonna play the weekend. Fade that in right now. <laughs> Got to skip ahead a little bit. So SZA, I gave way more than a snippet because I love her and she's amazing, and that's I love that song. Stack in the deck, that's fine. <laughs> what that was what that's one of my favorite songs that released this year. It's just it is a cover off of a uh, song called West that uh, is by River Ty Ty Beer featuring uh, Daniel uh, Caesar who also came out with an album and i think he's i think he's nominated for some grammy i'm not sure i will look i'm going to go through it but i mean his album uh freudian was amazing it was really good he's a really talented guy and that song west uh sampled mac miller's song uh ros that was on uh good a uh, good morning his album that came out 2015 and so big mac miller guy i was like this sounds familiar tracked it back sampled that really like that song really like that song riveting <laughs> um best rap album yeah I, I just got down to that i mean culture has to win this right culture has to win <laughs> right i mean okay so we got best rap performance also has bad, bad Im- has to win. bodak bodak yellow is so big uh, listen, <laughs> I like that song, but I mean, <laughs> come on. I I mean I don't know. Like I really I really do want Culture to win, but Flower Boy by Tyler is so good too. Damn is so good. Four forty four is good. I haven't listened to Rhapsody Rhapsody album. I need to. I haven't listened to all the music. I'm sorry. I have other things to do, but I will listen to the music. I really, wa- I really want culture to win. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I think Culture should win that. Uh, best pop vocal album. Oh God, I gotta find. I gotta find. I have a that. strong take about this one. Best pop vocal album. Okay, go on. Uh, it has to be Ed Sheeran. Okay, yeah, that's. I mean, Ed I haven't. Sheeran, re- Ed Sheeran pumps out bangers. I haven't listened. I haven't listened to all of all like. I actually haven't listened to one of these albums all the way through. I've listened to parts of some of the albums. I've listened to three out of six all the way through and parts of others. Everybody loves Imagine Dragons for some reason. I listened. I listened to it was fine. Kesha's was my second favorite. I heard Kesha's was good as well. When I heard Kesha and Lord had like really good albums this year, I was like, whoa, what's going on? I think, so, g- staying on Kesha, I think in best pop solo performance, it should be either Praying by Kesha or Million Reasons by Lady Gaga. I, I don't even, I don't even see where that is. Uh, on the New York Times article that I'm reading, it's two up from pop vocal album. Oh, I'm on the same one. Um, nice. oh, okay. Um. Uh, Lady Gaga did Million Reasons during the Super Bowl halftime show. Shape of You! It's a great, uh, listen, Praying might be better than Shape of You. <laughs> should I play Praying right now? Y- you should play Praying right now. All right, I'm going to be, I'm going to play Praying right, right now. Coming into your ears is Praying by Kesha. Gotta throw Kesha some love. Had me fooled. Told me that I was nothing without you. Oh, but after everything you've done, I can thank you for how strong I have become. Cause you brought the flames and you put me through hell I had to learn how to fight for myself And we both know all the truth I could tell I'll just say this is I wish you farewell I hope you're somewhere praying Praying I hope your soul is changing Changing I hope you find your peace I'm not gonna lie, that's that's pretty good. What makes it even better is that it's like such like a it's legit just like a diss track against your former producer. Facts. That was yeah. I know I know that. So it's just like it's such a a nice way to say fuck you, you know. Uh yeah, it is. I mean, Kesha, Kesha, Kesha. I'm used to her bangers, but I'm okay so with I'm okay the, with that, Kesha. Huh? Showing the soft side. Yeah, that's facts. Um. All right, I think that's that's all I have for the for the Grammys part. You got anything else? You see anything you like? Um. I don't. I don't really know. All right. <laughs> I haven't listened to much of this. The best Latin album. You haven't listened to that one. Best urban commentary. Best urban contemporary album. Three black spelled with a six. I think that one should oh, for creative. Oh stuff. my god, wait, I didn't even see that. That's his name is Black. It's pronounced black. I was nope, it's six six lack. No, it's not. Six I lack. so I um I uh uh I totally lost my train of thought there. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what happened? Um, so like, I I I listened to it when it came out, and a few of my friends listened to it, and I was just like, I like said six lack because I don't, I, I you kind of don't want to just like be, hey, did you hear Black's album? Like, <laughs> that could could come across a a little bit uh, just a little strong, a little strange too, and so. Um, where where is that on the website? I couldn't find it. It's above best rap performance, next to the sign up for the louder newsletter box. Wait, 
Where is I don't see I don't see black. Oh, oh, this is weird. Okay, wait, wait. So urban contemporary is free free black awaken my love. Wow, this is a this is a this is a star studded category. You got black Gambino, Khalid, SZA, and The Weeknd. I love black Gambino. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> you mean six lakh? Six lakh. No. So I mean, American Teen I think is gonna win probably. Khalid's hot in the streets right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, SZA should probably SZA Gambino should probably win. Black, good good album, but I mean this is this is a crazy category. Like he's going up against some heavy hitters. So I don't know about that. I will tell you, best alternative music album. Who got snubbed? Hippocampus got snubbed. You heard that right. It isn't the thing in your brain because I don't really know how brain works, and but I know a hippocampus is something in there. Hippocampus, the alternative uh, music band, they have mm, bangers is not the right word, but they have jams. It, they are great. They are probably my favorite band out right now. They came out with an album called Landmark in 2017. I'm gonna I'm gonna play. Uh, I don't even know how many songs. I may play the entire album, and that'll just play us out. But I w- I am gonna play some songs. They should be in this. They should be in this category. But Father John, Father John Misty. I really like him. A lot of people like Arcade Fire though, and LCD Sound System. Father John Misty is if is the choice for me. I know you didn't listen to any of these people. Who's your pick? Sounds like a made up person. Father John Misty is. Awesome. Who's your pick? Give me a pick. Where, where are we at? I best alternative music podcast. album. It's a right above best urban contemporary. Oh my god. Oh okay. Um. Oh, I love Arcade Fire. Okay. Yeah. So does everybody. You loser. No, I have no idea. Um. I, I like LCD Sound System because that's a funny band name. All right. So I'm gonna play some Hippocampus because they bump and everybody should listen to them. So. Like download landmark on your phone. It's good. Any new music that comes out, download it. It's all good. I'm gonna play a little bit of Hippocampus Buttercup coming your way right now. So that was a that was a little bit of it. You know how that was like upbeat and everything. Yeah. All right. So now they they are so talented they can go all over the place. That was upbeat Buttercup. Now listen to this sad song, Monsoon. Just two days after the first of June A pine with arms brushing off the dew Unlike a sky copy, yes, with death Precipitation of heart and head Should wash the rest of a you So yeah, there you go. They're all over the place. They can do anything. That's a very wide spread. Yes, it is. So I just wanted to, I wanted to get the hippocampus name out there. I love them. They are very good, very talented. Shout out Trent Pitzer. That's my guy. He loved them. Me and him always send music back and forth from them. So though that's gr- that's Grammy talk. Crossing it off the topics list. Solid. All right. So this is probably gonna be our this is probably gonna be our last uh topic of the day. I wanted to talk to you about it. I was uh talking about it in my group chat uh with friends the other day. So one, do you believe in reincarnation? No. You are a fool. Let me tell 
<laughs> Let me tell you that first off. The uh, the the Buddhists, I think, believe in it. They got it right. Reincarnation. I mean, maybe it's it's probably not real for us because we don't believe in it. Don't study Buddhism, but they they study it. You're gonna do it. It's gonna happen. I believe in it. So, my question to you, Andrew, is Max. We can break this up in in a couple categories, but first, let's start with this. If you could be reincarnated into any animal, what would it be, and why? Okay, I'll start off. So, you go first. I have I have two answers, and okay, I'll tell you why they're both wrong. <laughs> so the first, and I've said this since I was a kid, that's why I stick with it, is a tiger. Why? I, I thought about that. Why? Why a tiger? Why not a tiger? They are awesome. Every, might people might say I lions? Lions, they're the king of the jungle. That's such a basic pick. I mean, lions. That's not I why not. huh? That's not why not. Okay, I shut up. Let me let, me, let you're you're throwing me off my track. Um, not that lions aren't good. Lions are beasts, but it's just like it's it's a it's a it's a typical pick. I don't want to do that. Tigers. I like the stripes. Um, you're a big cat guy, so I feel like you're kind of onto that a little bit. I love tigers. Um, yes. they're they're scary. I don't know how long they live. It's probably not like that long, but I mean they can pretty much kill almost anything they want. They're dope. Uh, they live, where do they live, Africa? Nope. Nope, not Africa. Okay, wherever they live is probably... South, pr- South Asia. South Asia, pr- uh, pretty dope. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. Tigers is just like pure, uh, just pure awesomeness. Colors are cool. White tigers, white tiger would be cool. That doesn't really exist, but being a white tiger would be cool. And then, now that I'm older... And I kind of just like I no, I was gonna say now that I'm older and want to live, even though I'm 18. Um, I mean the sea turtle has to be up there. It lives for super long. It's it's got it's got a dope life. It, it doesn't really you got a shell. You got oh ultimate protection God. all the time. You can't really like nobody really fucks with you. You kind of just go your way whenever you want. Follow follow the uh whatever the what's it called inside the ocean the uh the current. I mean, you travel all over the world. It's pretty, pretty damn cool. So your 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 land and sea. I mean, I said sea turtle, so you're pretty much in the sea. But you start off on land. I'm pretty sure. So I mean, sea turtle would be cool. Sea turtle, tiger are definitely the ways to go. It for me, if it's an animal. All right, so first of all, tiger is on because of poaching. Mm, you're, that's like a dad, that's so. a good point. You know what? That's a good point. But also, there are a lot of tigers that don't get poached. So. That's true. No, that's true, but there are many that do. So, and then, I mean, you can live a long life, but what's the point if you're like a turtle, like having experiences, going around the world, being, all right, you're being right. a turtle? I got, I got one that'll rock you if you want to just live a life. The bowhead whale lives to a, about two hundred years old, and it's a giant whale. That's a that that's a good answer. All right, the Greenland shark can reach to ages of two hundred years old. Okay. I, don't like I, I admit you're you're, you're, kind, you're, time, you're, you're, you're not bodying me, but you're showing me that other animals. I don't know. No, I, 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 turtles. I, I feel like turtles, turtles are really smart. Sharks are kind of dumb. No, the right pick is a silverback gorilla. There, no, no. There, it's just it, it's just a lesser human. No. Lesser. Max. <laughs> you Max. simpleton. Yes. Go on. They're gigantic, and they're as smart as humans. So, like, you're you you have like a, a dumb human brain, but you're in like a gorilla's body. That's the by far the right pick. All right, fine. That you can. I I I mean, they're facts. You're gonna go against thumbs. Come on. I I know, but I'm trying to just be different. Whatever. Okay. So then the other thing, the other thing that came to my mind was like, if you could be reincarnated into anything, literally anything, and I mean. With the life thing again, tree like a nice maple or oak tree, you know. If if like this, this would be way easier if we lived in like the twelve hundreds, because then I would say like a giant sword. <laughs> yeah, I um, mean tree. I like I like a tree. Trees trees stay around long. They get 
you get you can see different kind of animals. You can see birds, squirrels, like but like that's raccoons. what you just made fun of me for. Like a tree is like a living thing. Like that's some like I, I'm picking something non-living if you're giving me everything. All right, f- okay. I guess the tree is a living thing. So I guess you go first with the object. I'll think. I'll guess I'll think of mine like non-living thing. Can I be a volcano? E- that's. <laughs> I. Um, an airplane. What if you crash? I mean, that sucks. But you know, <laughs> it's like a very small percentage. I'd be a good airplane. Alright, are you dependent? If I'm sentient, there's no way I'm crashing, Max, come on. <laughs> um, I would want to be, like, a really famous painting. <laughs> 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 like, like... Reincarnated into the George Washington crossing the Delaware. Yeah, like, like let's say, let's say, like... Y- you don't get to move or anything, but like I can see, I can see what's going on, and I just see the people looking at me all day. I would just be like, "Yo, what's good?" It would. I think. I think. Uh, I think the um. A a, a really famous painting would be kind of cool to kind of cool to I be. I want to be the David sculpture. Your dick is out though. I mean, yeah, but like I'm 14 feet tall and look great. Aside from that, <laughs> that's true. It's a good point. I mean, yeah, any a volcano was a good choice. I liked volcano. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I was pretty happy with that. Like, R- being the Roman yeah, Colosseum yeah. would be cool too. That's a good one. Um, the Parthenon, the Great Wall. That's a good one. <laughs> Atlantis. Okay. No, no, I lose you there. What about a cruise ship? I thought about that. (laughs) You have, like, so much fun. (laughs) You go on adventures all the time. You have a lot of fun, you know? Yeah, but there's, like, a ton of annoying kids running around on you constantly. Facts, that's true. That's true. I I don't know. I I mean, what, like, I don't know. I don't know what a light switch would, that's a long life. Constantly turned on. (laughs) Yeah. But then, but then turned off. But then, then turned back on. <laughs> but then on and then off. You're uh, like you're like a piano. Uh, I mean, I, I light switch. You're like, oh, 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 he's gonna turn me on. He's gonna. Oh, he didn't turn me on. God damn it. God damn it. It's like, oh, so oh, you oh. Be a piano, but the piano that they use at like Carnegie Hall. Yeah, that would be that would be cool. Or I don't know. I like cello. my first answer. A uh, famous painting. I think I'm sticking with. I like famous painting. I'm gonna stick with volcano. All right. So, you, if we were any objects that weren't living, you're going. Vo- a volcano might be living. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really an object. Is the problem? It's Are you a dormant volcano? volcano? Yeah. Okay. So you'll be a volcano. I'll be a famous painting. I. But uh, but I'll say with the stipulation that if it was 500 years ago, I'd be a sword. 500 years ago, you'd be a sword. What about armor? Would armor be fine? Uh, I don't really want to be, like, on, like, I, like, I'd rather be in someone's hand than, like, on their body. Uh, that, yeah, I guess you get smelly and crap. I'd, I'd like, you know, being a sword, killing people and stuff. Yeah. Maybe, th- maybe a giant battle axe or a hammer, like, like Gendry. Ooh, that would be... That would be that would be sweet. I, I would pick Jon Snow's prop cloak. All right. Like for Kit Harrington. All right. So, ooh, I might be a I might be a a glass that they put wine in in Thrones. Danny's robes. <laughs> Get out of here! I think <laughs> I think that's where where we're gonna end today. Um, play out music today. I was gonna go with. Grammy nominated artist Kendrick Lamar, Loyalty featuring Rihanna. That uh, is the sh- shout out Jonah Wolf. <laughs> shout out I'm Jonah Wolf. <laughs> shout out Jonah Wolf, who is excited to listen to this. I told him I put it on tonight. Um Loyalty featuring Rihanna, Co Show Episode Three. Thank you, Andrew. Reverse shout out to Ben Brockmeyer Bernard, whatever the opposite of a shout out is. An out shout. Boo! An out shout. Out shout. <laughs> um hopefully we'll be back next week. 
Uh, I don't have any finals, but I got finals presentation, so got to grind a little bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll be back soon. And have a good one, Andrew. Peace. Thanks for having me. I said I'm geek and I'm fired up. All I want to not just get higher. It's a secret society. All we ask is trust. All we got is love. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Kenny now, my resume is real enough for two millenniums. A better way to make a way is not defending them. I meditate and moderate all of my wins again. I'm hanging on the fence again. I'm always on your mind. I put my lyric and my lifeline on the line. And then on limit when I might shine, might grind. You rolling with it at the right time, right now. Only for the dollar sign. That girl, ribbing now. Swear, 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 leaving now. On your pulse, I can see the end. Gas on the bitch, like it's premium. Call ass on the bitch, on the fast lane. Been a bad bitch with before, and the cash came. I'm a savage, on a carrot. So my name, run the Atlas. I'm a natural, I'm a ray. I'm a savage, I'm an asshole, I'm a king. Shimmy ah, shimmy ah, shimmy ah, ra. You can tell your nigga he can meet me outside. You can babysit him when I leave him outside. Ain't no other love like the one I know. I done been down so long, lost so. I done came down so hard, I slow. I done sleep and have a holler, real nigga won't. I said I'm geek. And I'm fired up. Yeah. All I yeah. want tonight is just get high. All I want is all I want is loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Ten four, no switching sides. Feel something wrong. You acting shifty. You don't vibe with me no more. I need loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Tell me who you're loyal to. Is it money? Is it fame? Is it weed? Is it drink? Is it coming down with the loud pipes in the rain? Big chilling only for the power in your name. Tell me who you're loyal to. Is it love for the streets when the lights get dark? Is it unconditional when the robbery don't stop? Tell me when your loyalty is coming from the heart. Tell me who you're loyal to. Do it start with your woman or your man? Do it end with your family and friends? Or oh, your loyalty is self and defense. I said, tell me who you're loyal to. Is it anybody that you would lie for? Anybody you would slide for? Anybody you would die for? That's what I'm I for. said, I'm geek and I'm fired up. All I want tonight is just get high. All I want is, all I want is. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Ten four, no switching sides. Feel something wrong. You acting shifty. You don't vibe with me no more. I need loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. It's so hard to be humble. It's so hard to be.